another thing is where do we define the area boundary? So a typical location at this point in this network is the P routers. That can be the ABRs. So the P routers is the place where you can hide your area infrastructure. Now in hiding the area infrastructure you have two choices. Either you can summarize those infrastructures which I'm not going to go over or you can filter them. Type 3 LSA filtering can be used on the ABRs, in our case the P routers, to basically filter these links out. Just to reiterate, I said that you are filtering it only in OSPF. You are still going to carry those routes in BGP for management purposes. Once again, the whole idea here is to reduce the size of the OSPF routing table. As I said, if you're going to have a smaller routing table, your network is going to scale much better. You're going to have fewer routes in your network and it's going to perform better. Redistribution. It really, it doesn't make any sense to redistribute external customer networks into OSPF on a service provider network. Now let me be clear. I'm only talk, talking about OSPF. It doesn't make sense to carry customer routes in OSPF. BGP should take care of the external destinations. While OSPF's job is to carry the next hop information and to converge as quickly as possible. In summary, this is going to be our service provider network. So you have OSPF areas, and you are carrying all the external routes via BGP and you're only carrying the loopback addresses in OSPF. So that means if you have let's say around 500 POPs and each POP contains about four routers then instead of carrying 6,000 routes you only have to carry 2,000 routes. So that is a significant drop in the number of routes in OSPF. Instead of getting 6,000 routes, you are only carrying 2,000 routes. Your network is going to perform better. It is, getting, it's, it is going to be more scalable and secure because you are blocking those directly connected links. You're not advertising them in OSPF. You're advertising them in BGP for management purposes. Thanks for listening to this video podcast. If you like what you just heard, we hope you will drop by our web address, networkingstepbystep.com, and subscribe for updates and releases of more video podcasts, while also checking out all the material that has been compiled to help make your networking job easier. You should also play fair and share our web address with your friends and colleagues. Please leave comments, constructive criticism, rate the video, and mark your favorites. Once again, I am Dale with Networking Step by Step and we're here to help.